About 30 years ago, when a group of graduate students in our film department came to me as director of UCLA Film and Television Archive and proposed that we create together a festival of gay and lesbian films, an important festival in Los Angeles, my immediate response was, sure. Why was it important then? Same reasons it's important now. The first was to create a ritual of community, a sense of celebration that brings people together around issues of culture. A second one was, hey, this is Hollywood. It's self-evident that you wanted to convey to the industry that there was enormous talent in the gay community and that there were audiences who would come to these films. Outfest is, you know, it, it, it is a flagrant display of success in community for all to see. It's us thriving. Outfest is the gateway for filmmakers into the big arena. I mean, it's like if you make Outfest, it's like make it's it's like Gay Sunday. If you make Outfest, they want you. Outfest accepted my films when I was still trying to find my own voice, um, and these were gay films about me growing up gay and expressing myself in ways that a lot of people probably didn't understand. And I was experimenting and I was uh, searching for myself. And Outfest said, "Hey, there's a home for work like that. There's a home for." young gay filmmakers who are trying to find themselves and we're going to share your work and we're going to celebrate it. Watching the LGBT film world change uh, over the years has been pretty incredible. When I started making films it was, it felt a lot more marginal, uh, you know, it was 20 years ago. Um, it, it was smaller, there were less films, there were less women making films and just, I mean, it's just exponentially gotten better and more legitimized by the mainstream, uh, the mainstream being outside of the LGBT community. Um, and Alphys is, you know, pretty much the pinnacle of that, you know, fanciness and uh, validation. I think 30 years ago that gay filmmakers looked at themselves as being on the outside looking in. Now, we are major influences in the entertainment industry, major influences within the culture. And the sole thing we gotta remember is not to lose that critical edge. I'm a filmmaker, but I'm also an LGBT activist. I fight for our civil rights, and I gotta say the most powerful tool we have is our stories, our own personal stories. It's what's always dispelled the myths and the lies out there about us. And Outfest gives us a place to share those stories. That's why it's important that we continue to uh, create these images and and make sure that they're available for, for everyone to see um, because it does change, it changes minds. It's pretty amazing that a group that may have been viewed as at the margins in the past are now a model for social uh, statement and for activism and for affecting change. My name is Guinevere Turner. I'm a writer, an actor, a director, sometimes I'm even a producer, and I support Outfest. I'm DeAndre Gossett. And I'm Quincy Lanier. Join us in supporting Outfest. It deserves your support in every way. Go to the screenings, go to the festival, become a member, and support the Legacy Project. Happy 30th anniversary, Outfest.